Hello, this is Eric Anapaos, and welcome to my review of Tropic Fill Gacer shoes. So these are supposed to be waterproof shoes, and I actually pre-funded these during the campaign for funding back in October 2021, and they arrived today. So this has been a while in waiting, and for other waterproof shoes, I also reviewed Vessi shoes. For waterproof clothing, I reviewed Filebok. And for other waterproof shoes, I'll also be reviewing, when it finally comes in, Rens Nomad. And these use what they call H-Dry technology. And these are the greater ones, I believe. These ones are called greater, I believe, and I see on the tag itself. So these Tropic Fills are called Great. There's the little ones, and I got the little ones coming in. And these are desert green. So these use Murano wool. They claim that these shoes are carbon neutral, so they're more environmental friendly. I ordered the jungle chip, and then I canceled it because it was taking too long. So one thing you guys got to work on, Tropic Phil, is getting your shoes sooner, especially when you're selling them. Now for these shoes, I do notice one small imperfection on these new shoes. And no, I did not receive these shoes for free. It was pre-funding for the release of these shoes. So these treads are not gonna make it a real hiking shoe per se, a great shoe I think for sand, for rain, not so much I don't think for snow, but yeah, I'll see how these feel, but they are quite nice looking. And one thing that's different about these is check this out right here. You don't tie them. You simply pull the laces and you slide these down. They do hold with quite a bit of grip, these little things. So let's get a closer look. So for tightening and loosening, we move these. So you have that little thing. That might bug some people, but that is the design of these shoes. Here's the shoe on my feet, and they kind of match my socks I'm wearing right now. They're made of the same material, Murano wool. That's what's on the outside. And the idea about this wool is it's temperature regulating, so it's insulating and yet it's supposed to be breathable. So this actually makes it that it can be worn in cool weather without being a problem, while also being warm weather without being a problem. We'll have to see how that goes. Now I'm gonna take a walk outside and see how these shoes are. It's not raining outside, but I need to find some water. So let's find that before we get too carried away, right? Let's get some water testing, waterproof testing. Is it H-Dry technology really H-Dry? Let's find out. Now following in the same fashion where I reviewed my Fessy shoes in a pile of water, let's see how this goes. I don't know if it's gonna be waterproof between the seams here or not, but I guess we're gonna find out together. And of course, I'm gonna take the shoes off after and see if my socks are wet or just tell you if they are wet because if they're wet, we already know that, but yeah. So, so far, so good. I don't know how deep I can go in the water. Wow. These are just right at the limit where I'm not getting water in the shoe yet. That's good. They're not coming through the tongue of the shoe. That's good to see because I really didn't know. Wow. Not sure if we can see that. Let's see if I can zoom up a little more here. Can we see how deep that water is? That's just at the edge right near the top of the shoe and I still don't feel water in this shoe at all. I can feel a little bit of the warmth of water because it's warm water I have poured in here. So far, so good. Now, we've been soaking for how long now? Let's see. Wow, the water just goes off the side, just like Vessi shoes. But yeah, they're pretty much dry looking. So we can see that the, the shoe itself looks pretty much dry. That's pretty sweet. And are my socks wet or not? No, they're not. Motorbike make a lot of noise, but yeah. Anyways, sock is dry, so that's good. Let's check the other one, the other foot. So you can see the shoe is all soaked in the water. But is it dry inside? Whoop, bump the mic. And no water. Now, if there was water, let's see what happens. So we can see 
there's nothing coming. Now, watch if I dip my toe in the water. This is not fun that way, but okay. If I dip my toe in the water, we'd see that. It'd be absolutely obvious if they weren't waterproof. Now, these shoes do feel quite nice. I want to take a walk outside and see how these feel outside. So now I'm outside with my Fiobach cooling shirt. There's actually the waterproof one as well that I reviewed. I'll have links in the description below to all my waterproof clothing so you can get an idea for what waterproof clothing you wear together. I'll also be getting a waterproof jacket from Fiobach, so watch for that review and of course for the other shoes. And when I get the other shoes from Tropic Feel, I'll be coming back to these and mentioning how they are so far after a couple of weeks because it'll be, I believe, about two weeks, maybe longer for my other shoes to arrive here. So let's see how it looks on my feet. So here's how my shoes look and let's see how it looks far back. Let's go further back. And these shoes are quite comfortable. Now I got all this shoelace. I could just tuck it into the shoe. It's kind of a messy way to do this, I guess you could say. But uh, yeah, normally for pick up the slack, you'd want to go down like this. The shoelaces themselves feel a little bit elasticy, so you have a little bit of give to them. And then again, you pull those little tabs down and you'll tuck them into the shoe most likely, or you can even try this. I'd never actually notice this little part. I never watched review on these shoes, but uh, this is a little too much slack for using this. Now, if I had less slack, like here and here, I could always do that, but just keep in mind, it's going to look a little bit different than you're used to doing that kind of idea. They feel like runners with some different laces. The padding seems fairly comfortable. It doesn't feel like a thick shoe though, but the materials do feel nice. Do your feet get sweaty? I don't know that part yet. Now one thing to know is these shoes can get a bit sweaty over time. The wool itself is supposed to help with smells and odors so it smells fresher longer. In terms of sweatiness, leather shoes would definitely be more sweaty. The geyser shoes I guess I call this. They're made of 82% recycled nylon and 10%, 10.5% that is, recycled elastine plus 7.5% PU. I don't think that means stink, that's polyurethane. So these shoes do use recycled materials. Environmentally friendly? Yeah, I'd say so. Carbon neutral, that's what they call it. Using materials that actually are existing. So good job, Tropic Film. Eventually, I'm gonna test how these fare in the mud and if they are easy or difficult to clean. Maybe they're easier to clean than the Vessi shoes or stay cleaner. Because a light Vessi shoe color that was similar probably in tone to these shoes, it would get a bit of a staining happening really easy at the toe area if you're going through a bit of dirt here and there. So this shoe, we'll be able to see the comparison and the material doesn't seem like it can get as dirty as easy. It's yet to be confirmed. So we'll have to find that out. So stay tuned for the later reviews to find out more information, including how it compares to Ren's Nomad shoes that actually have venting. Yes, every step vents the shoe. So that's gonna be really interesting. I actually supported those shoes on Kickstarter. Yeah, a Kickstarter campaign way back around September, 2021. Don't have them yet. They should be arriving soon since they're in the final production stages. I'm gonna get an email update when they're finally shipping. So the shoes are made, just not shipping yet. This is Eric of Not Bios, and thank you for watching my initial testing of these shoes. Have any questions? Leave them in comments below. So if you have a question, I can hopefully answer for you on my next video. These are size nine and a half. Men's shoes, be careful of the size between the, looking at the M or the W because I've ordered the wrong size of shoes twice. Oh, technical support. You might wonder how is Tropic Feel and their tech support? Well, I ordered the wrong shoes a second time, the wrong size. I contacted technical support that canceled my order, said I didn't see or receive a new order number, but luckily they did 
send my shoes in the correct size. So thank you.